But like, where did the apple go? <gasps> True! The short animated film called In A Heartbeat released to YouTube on July 31st, 2017 and as of recording this video, it has over 19,474,924 views and was number 13 on the trending page. In A Heartbeat is a short animated story about a young boy who has a crush on another boy and how his heart wants him. Now I followed this story all the way back when the creators Beth David and Esteban Bravo were looking for funding and at the time they got fully and even over funded. I even remember being sad about this story only being a short film and I did my part in sharing the story at the time because I was and still am a broke bitch who can't donate and couldn't afford anything. I still can't. Now when In A Heartbeat first came on YouTube, I watched it when it had around 24,000 views. I was even disappointed at the time because it didn't get as many views as I hoped it would. But boy was I wrong. I forget I'm in a different time zone than most of the active world. Anyway, enough of that. Let's actually talk about the animated masterpiece that this is. Now is the animation good? Dear sweet god, it's freaking gorgeous. The score is almost otherworldly and I'm not one to notice music much. Lighting, color, pace, design, everything and this and this heart is freaking kawaii to the max oh my god. <sighs> Whoa breathe girl breathe. I'm sorry this whole this 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 whole thing is just so beautiful it's just <sighs> The character designs for both boys is simplistic yet totally fitting. The boy with black hair, whose name is Jonathan, kinda reminds me of Wilbur from Meet the Robinsons, for whatever godly reason. You can actually see the love and effort it took to create this. It's right there! The boy with orange hair named Sherwin has his little antics with his heart and in the grand scheme of things, it can be seen as a metaphor cause everything had a reason and OMG, I just realized that not one single word was spoken throughout this whole thing. Mastery! I cannot praise this animation, quality and storytelling enough. It was simply marvelous and gorgeous. But now I've got to be the one to explain why people don't like it. Oh boy, this will be fun. Now I just took a peek at the comment section of the video and I saw a lot of comments about people talking about homophobic comments. I didn't see any myself but I'll take their word for it. Retro Nemo a while back posted his own review on the short film and again in the comments people were complaining about homophobic comments. Again, I failed to witness any. P.S. I am loving Retro Nemo's videos as of recently. Anyone else? So without even seeing the comments people are bitching about, I kind of have an idea of what they probably had to say. This is wrong. Things shouldn't be depicted like this. You're ruining the kids. Guy on guy is gross. Only a man and a woman should be together. The world is coming to an end. Blah 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 blah. Now before I say another thing, I need you to know my background on this topic. So no one is caught off guard or calls out my bias. Which is why I started out the video with the compliments for this short film. I am an African Muslim. And if you have no idea why I included the African part of the statement, go look up a map with the places where homosexuality is illegal. Yeah, Africa's covered red with that bitch. And I feel this map horribly leaves out a ton of more places, but meh, I'll let that go. First, to those who can't grasp why people are against things like this, you need to understand that in 40% of the globe, homosexuality is in fact illegal. Whoa, that percentile is a lot smaller than I thought it'd be. What? I'm just being honest. For those who don't agree with those numbers, just do the math. People argue between 70 to 80 countries have illegalized being gay and we have 196 countries in the world. For example, 80 divided by 196 times 100 gives us 40.816 blah blah blah. 
you get the idea do the same for the others and you get 35 percent and above this isn't a math video let's move on now with just that rough number in mind imagine how much of the rest of the world will be against the idea of homosexuality if a whole 40 percent of it says it's illegal and i'm not even bringing religion into it now again I know what some of you are thinking, but it's natural, it should be accepted, they're not hurting anybody, it's 2017. Yeah, it's 2017, but that still doesn't stop it being illegal for women in Saudi Arabia from driving. I'm just saying. Things are just different in these places. To them, or us, it's you guys who don't get it. Just like how you don't get being illegal is gay over here, I don't get how hitting someone is illegal where y'all are from. Now I know those two comparisons are wildly ludicrous, one being someone's choice at a way of life and the other being a physical attack. You need to see the difference in thought patterns. When you are raised with something being wrong, being known as wrong and condemned for being so, you can react negatively against it when it's being thrown at you. For the love of God, I didn't know what the word lesbian meant till I almost graduated college. And I also didn't know what a condom was till like 11th grade. I'm so innocent. Now to some people, I am very serious. I am very serious. This may be their first time even seeing some guy on guy action. And with it being an animation, the probability of likelihood for it being for kids just skyrocketed. Now most parents let their kids have free reign when it comes to cartoons because they never expect these sort of things, these sort of topics being addressed in kids shows. I've talked about these before, but a lot of parents are bone crushingly afraid of their kids seeing these things and being influenced and turned gay because apparently every damn guy I talk to thinks being gay is a choice including some of the damn girls but i feel i'm one of the few muslims who believe being gay isn't a choice and that people are actually born that way my reasoning behind it is a little fucked up but i won't tell you what they are because i've already dug a deep enough grave for me as is man i feel like every other week i'm making a youtube career ending video now people like this who view in a heartbeat don't see a sweet touching story or an animated work of fucking art all they see is propaganda a gay one an animation made by the devil americans and their insidious western thinkings and ideals made to brainwash our children to become like them those infidels who stop at nothing to control us i am um, dead serious people think and talk like that i remember listening into a conversation that was going on around me i believe we were talking about homosexual men and a bunch of these girls who were of different religious and cultural backgrounds from me and i swear to god they said that it's demons and devils that escape from hell and possess these men and that's why they act like this that is not of their own doing it's literal demons from hell that possessed them to do that what the fuck i was floored by that statement holy shit and again i did not even bring religion into this this is just people's personal opinions i'm the kind of girl who gets to talk with people from all walks of life and i'm constantly looking to hear other people's opinions on stuff so i don't remain an ignorant blockhead forever that's why i was able to detect and understand why there was so much outrage on this topic and why i was able to explain it to y'all this way we all must understand not everybody is like us and not everybody must think like us I have a shit ton of homophobic friends and family members a co-worker of mine has stated once in the past that he'd kill his own son if he ever came out as gay mind you he's not married yet he's just saying it for the future and he wasn't joking a ton of my male friends too have claimed they'd become violent if a gay guy ever comes near them that's how freaked these people are I remember there was this one dude in my college who always wore bomb shorts and always had a lot of girls hanging around him. He was openly accused of being gay and my male friends would freak the fuck out whenever he was around. And this is the part of the video where I go off script because my fingers are tired of typing the script but you guys, listen, this world is big, a lot bigger than you can ever imagine. 
not everyone is gonna be like you and everyone is gonna think like you i personally know that not everybody thinks like me and that's okay not everybody accepts homosexuality and in and of itself you should accept that fact now i'm not gonna tell you my own personal stance on this because i have my own issues regarding it i plan on making a video about that in the future because you guys know i'm just honest with y'all but people's environments their religion their personal opinion and their experiences factor into how they feel about a topic so most of the people in these comment sections are either a ignorant people who've never seen this before and they're just reacting as we humans do to everything negatively they've had experience with it before and they just don't like it or they're afraid of it and sadly that's what drives the world these days fear anger ignorance and we need to be the bigger person in this situation and just ignore it because if I had gone to the comment section of In A Heartbeat and I just saw wonderful comments by people, I would have just made a wonderful video about it. But because I was seeing people confused and angry, I had to make this video explaining what is going on. And I'm just, me myself, further perpetuating this negative story. So we all need to, you know, spread happiness, press body, spread positivity, even if otherwise it's staring us in the face. We have to be the first ones to take that step i know it's hard but we gotta do it an example i need to give is my boyfriend thank god he isn't homophobic but there are a lot of people where i'm from who if they don't they say they're not against gay people or lesbians or whatever but they don't want them near them that they don't have anything against them they don't judge their way of life they should go and live their own life but they shouldn't come near them now that statement is a lot is what a lot of people who are neutral about the topic say and I don't know if that in and of itself is right or wrong because I haven't met any homosexual people to see their stance on it personally I even have to confess that if it wasn't for my youtube channel I don't know how I'd be towards this subject because I remember making a YouTube video a while back about Steven Universe characters who you date and I was like okay you guys should just tell me who you did in the comments and I'd see maybe girls saying they date Jamie and Sadie and guys saying they would date Lars and okay not Ronaldo maybe Buck or Sour Cream or something like that and I'll be like wait but you're a guy why are you picking other guys or wait you're a girl why are you picking both guys and girls it went over my head i just didn't know how to process it but i knew i wasn't against these people or their lifestyle choices i was just confused by it now if it was someone else they would have maybe berated those people or whatever i just decided to keep quiet because for most people when they don't understand something instead of being afraid of it just keep quiet and watch it and understand or ask questions so my boyfriend's own stance is those people shouldn't have gone to the comment section and said all those stuff if they didn't understand it or if they were against it or they're afraid of it and he personally said that if he doesn't like something he won't watch it or he won't go out and seek it and then go and make negative comments about it and bless his soul for saying that we need more people in the world like that I don't know it's just better than being a homophobic monster raging and rampaging like I don't want gay people near me I will kill my son if they turn gay no and all that other bull crap <laughs> I just I just don't like seeing people hurt and I know a lot of you guys who watch my videos may also be affected by it because some of you may also have that preferred lifestyle choices and I don't like seeing you people confused and viewing everyone as monsters so i just felt explaining this will help you get a better understanding of where it is i know maybe probably a lot of you people will hate me for speaking like this and being this honest but like my boyfriend says truth is just like rain it doesn't give a shit who it falls on <sighs> we just need to understand each other more and you know stop trolling people but yeah i think i'll end this video here 
again in a heartbeat was beautiful it was amazing it was fantastic it was just gorgeous to watch to witness I huge praises to the people behind it they are so talented they're so amazing I hope they go far with this type of thing I wish them nothing but the best oh that's right I almost forgot to mention legend of the first Kukura warrior a short film from the golden apple universe this was an animated um, short thing that was asked of me to review that i wasn't able to review a long time ago i saw this at the exact same time as in a heartbeat they're also looking for funding oh god i remember someone asked me to review it on my channel but it was around ramadan and i was so busy i wasn't able to do it at all guys this show is amazing it's so good you also need to check it out you need to support it but i think they've passed their deadline which sucks i felt so bad for not being able to spread awareness for this but just talking about it now i just needed to get that off my chest i just needed the world to know that this thing is also out there and it's so good i love stories that also talk about other people's cultures and stories and myth it's just amazing you guys need to check it out and yeah this video became a downer really fast i should have scripted it till the end but anyway <laughs> thanks y'all viruses so much for clicking to watch for understanding for being here share this video to anybody who needs to share it i probably won't link to any of the videos i mentioned in this video because i am just lazy also sorry to anybody who may be offended by my terminologies i explained this in a past tvc talks where i said these words I use may be crude or rude to you guys, but they're just normal words to us. I'm sorry, but I'll still use them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. And as always, thanks y'all. <laughs> and as always, thanks y'all so much for clicking to watch. Please don't forget to read my books on WordPad, support me on Patreon, and follow me on Twitter. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and stay forever awesome. This is TBC signing out.